Hi. So a couple of years ago, I was no, I posted this uh, a video about uh, some of the kind of tools, custom tools you can make, and this one was uh, particularly about uh, like creating a, a security camera and uh, showing the coverage if you placed it on different places on the drawing. So here's an example. So this is um, this is this is the setup, and basically the idea was. If you came down and put it on that corner of the building there, what you could actually do is rotate the camera. So you could see what the coverage was. So if I do this, I can rotate around and you can see exactly what's being covering, covered. So this is, um, if I zoom in a minute, there you go, that's probably the ideal angle, but that's 110 degrees and covering up to seven meters. So you could kind of place your cameras on the drawing and see what kind of coverage you've got. Um, so recently I've been asked how you make this tool and I must admit I'm having to have a think about this, but let's have a go at recreating it. So uh, what I've got on here is I'm going to make a slightly different one. I've got a blank page. So let's let's create one that's slightly different to that. Let's. Uh, use our sketch to scale and we'll do a seven and a half meter radius let's plonk that in the middle of our drawing we will show the centroid because we need that in a minute and then what are we going to do let's um let's just change the color of the line color of that for the moment just down to a very light gray and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um uh, let's let's put a i need a, a line on there for the moment so if i snap to the center of that is that in the center yeah it's very much in the center up to the edge there so i just need that as a guideline for now so what i'm going to do is select this angle here come down to there and i'm going to go out to let's go out to 60 degrees there and I'm going to do the same on the other side oh, and we'll get 60 degrees doesn't want to give me 60 degrees but let's let's put it at that for the moment and I'm just gonna set both of these let's change the, the number in and if I come over here and the, pre the precision to one so we're at 60 degrees so that's that's the start of it and then I'm going to use, I believe it is, measure, three point radius, and I'm going to start filling these in. Click three places, there we go, and then I'm going to do the same again. There we go. Um, I don't want the captions on either of those and what I'm going to do on both of those is select a fill color and then a highlight and that's the basis of it and I need to make a little camera symbol down here so I'm just going to draw one of those if I come down here and I do something like that and Try and pick the center of that. That's lining up with the outside. That's lining up with the outside. Do that and select both of those. I'm going to do Control G to group them together. And I do not want any captions on that. So that's my little camera. I'm going to bring that over. Oh, come on. 
that over here. Let's plonk that on there. And this whole thing is going to be... Oh, actually, yeah, uh, I could actually... That caption there, I am tempted. Can I do it on the line? Let's just have a look at the tools down here where I've started measuring up. Let's, um, this line, oh, it's not a measurement, that's my problem. So let's, let's do a, um, just use a line, perimeter line. Hopefully that would just click onto there, up to here. Return, so that's seven meters. And I'll, I'll um, change the decimal places on that one to two. So it's uh, 7.5 meters, that's what I wanted. So that's my detail there. And if I wanted to make this basically disappear on the drawing, this, this outer line, uh, I could change that to white. But for the moment for this, I'd, I'll leave it as gray. And what I'm going to do is just select all of those and I'm going to do control G to make a group. And then what I am actually, yeah, and I want that as a highlight tool. And what I should be able to do now, oh, my angles have disappeared. Control shift G, ungroup. And yeah, and that's highlight. Highlight. So that should work. Control G. Yes, that's better. Uh, I've got both of that. I've got that at 59.98, so I really should go in. Uh, Control Shift G. I want that one, that one particular one there. Angle there. That's um, radius measurement. Uh, it's picking up on this. So, how can I correct that? I should have got it more accurate in the first place, I guess the answer is. Um, let's, well, let, let's, let's, just for the purposes, I should have got it more accurate, but so when you create this, let's just, um, let's just say, uh, Here we go. That, that'll do for now, but I should have got it more accurate. I should have got it spot on 60 degrees in the first place. But here we go. So if I now select all of that and do a control G, that should hopefully be my tool created. And uh, what I'm going to do is I will add that to a tool chest. That one there. This is my uh, latest one here. So you can see it there. So let's, um, should we call that something else? Let's call it camera type three. That's great. Let's um, select it here. And I'll go back to my other drawing here. I can put this on here, just place it. I'll move this up to the corner of the wall there. And then hopefully I should just be able to do, come down here and on my rotation. I can start spinning it. So let's put that at minus 270. Uh, sorry. Yeah, let's just put that at 270. So you can see that. Let's put it at 180, move it round. And 220. So that kind of shows you the coverage that we've got. 
So um, yeah, that's that's a kind of custom tool. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> you get your your measurements uh, spot on to start with, because as you can see, I'm 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 0 0.02 degrees out here, but it's annoying when that happens, and I should have should have got that right in the first place. But anyway, hopefully that gives you the idea of how how those tools are created, and uh, yeah, hope 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 you uh, like that one. Thanks. Bye.